Greeting to the people of Saipan. My name is Ramon Camacho. I'm running for the uh, position for mayor for the island of Saipan. I'm known also as R.D. Camacho here on the island. I'm seeking for this position, the mayorship, because I strongly believe in community involvement that we can promote a safe and healthy living community here in the island of Saipan. My background is uh, I retired as a law enforcement assistant chief of police uh, 20 years. And I served uh, the parole board for 17 years. And I served also the federal program, which is I'm a part-time federal employee for 13 years to represent the local farmers here in the island, how to uh, for them to avail themselves on the available funding from the federal program. And also uh, elected three term for the uh, Saipan Municipal Council. And we erect that leadership courtyard across the uh, bus office. This leadership courtyard is for a future education for our young generation to know the structure of the government. And that leadership courtyard represents three administrations. First administration is the Naval Administration, second is the DT Administration, and the third one is the Commonwealth Administration. So it's an historical site to identify our past leaders, present leaders, their names on the wall. I'd like to uh, revive this uh, Neighborhood Watch program because I deeply involved when I was a council creating this program in the community. A lot of people were involved because they see that this program is so important in our community. Because just like I said, that working together, we can eliminate this uh, unacceptable activity within our community. So we can have, have a safe community in our village. So I'd like to recognize uh, the city mayor, Mr. David Apate, which is running now for lieutenant governor under the Arno and Dave uh, independent team. He endorsed me because he believed on me that I can carry that torch, what he's doing now in the island, which is I can attest for all the job that he's doing here and I'm so impressed. And I want to continue that job of the uh, city mayor, Mr. David Apatang. And part of that is I want to implement programs to uh, coincide with the uh, platform of mine of uh, promoting a safe and healthy living community. So on the safe side, safe community is we need to revive this neighborhood. That's one thing. The other thing is let's promote, you know, after school program. Uh, something for our children to occupy their time in the right way, and not to get tempted in the criminal activity. So these are all the things that I like to see develop in our community. Now in the healthy living part of the community is let's do something physical. Maybe we can have a uh, Every village we have a basketball court around, but it's not occupied. Back then, when I was a basket player, we had this village competition. That's where we gathered at the Mount Kamu Auditorium. And that's very healthy to build sports, to build friendship among the people in the island of Saipan. So these are the things, and also the other one I'd like to see develop here is sustainability, food security. How can we have this sustainability here? One thing that I'm really advocating on this program is the backyard garden. Let's make use of this backyard garden. Now, if you start from a small scale of a uh, farming, you can increase to a bigger scale in farming. Federal is really pumping a lot of money in here for farming. So let's take advantage of this thing, and promote farming for sustainability, food security. What if we don't have an air transportation, a water transportation? What are we going to put on the dining table for our kids? So those are the things that we need to really consider. The other thing that I'm really looking on in connection with farming is, let's ask ourselves a question. How many industries do we have here? One, tourism. In my opinion, I think tourism it might take three, four, five years to, to overflow again back here. The reason why I'm saying that thing is because there's another disease that's you know, circulating around. And I don't think so the, uh, the tourists from different countries to exit from their country because of this disease. So we have to be mindful to that. The casino, I don't see casinos moving. So let's be creative and let's all work together and let's build a, a local industry, a product from the water, ocean, and a product from the land. So we can have a locally product that we can do an export, you know, uh, and represent the cinema. So these are all the things that I really want to be involved, which is I'm doing it now, the federal programs. One thing that I really want to educate our farmers to start, you know, availing themselves of this program. And the 
Part of that, during my uh, tenure on the uh, federal program, the Farm Service Agency, we pushed and we managed, you know, all the way to the U.S. Congress to amend the Farm Bill. Because back then, the policy is required the local farmers here to pay the crop insurance, and that's from 700 to 900 annually. I wrote a letter to the uh, U.S. Secretary of Agriculture in regards to this thing with the assistance of uh, Congressman Kilili in support of our letter. Uh, he managed to uh, convince the uh, leaders in the uh, U.S. Congress and the Farm Bill has been amended and now we are benefiting on that uh, uh, crop insurance. Uh, we're not paying anything, but the level of as a socially disadvantaged area. So that is one that I'm really encouraging farmers to avail themselves for these two programs, which is the crop insurance, and the other one is the loan program on this farm service agency. So these are all the programs that are available here. The other thing is, I hope that the future leaders consider the public land for the, for the usage of farming, to consider our people, our people to occupy that public land to farm. One law that I obtained from Guam, they have this uh, uh, law and they give the local people to farm like the land trust in Guam for $1 uh, per acre a year. And you can occupy that for 99 years as long as you continue farming. Why can we do that thing here? In order for us you know, to, uh, to uh, be sustainable and to think about the food security, we need to develop, we need to be creative and create this uh, a local product industry here at the cinema. And with this, I humbly ask your support and consider me in this coming election, starting from November 1st to the 8th, for this coming election, and vote for me to be your next mayor so I can continue what the city mayor, Mr. David Apatang, is doing. And also, I'd like to ask and humbly ask each and every one of you to please support on one day and all the independent team, because I believe that we can all do the job accordingly to serve the people. With this, I thank you all and I love you all.